Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with game four of the Stanley Cup playoffs between the 91, the 9091 Minnesota North Stars and the 9091 Chicago Blackhawks. We come into this game up two games to one. And we're hoping to take a commanding uh, three-game lead in the series. Or what? It would be three-game, right? Two games to one. No, two-game lead. Two-game lead, but we would be one game away from winning the series. So um, you can see right there, Minnesota, I'm going to have computer lines, but human decisions. And Chicago is on totally computer. Turn the sound down. And uh, right, let's move me. We'll move me right here. And uh, there we go. And we, I suppose, we are ready to go. Ed Belfour is in the net for them again. You would think they would give him a day off, but, you know. I mean, we can't afford to give Casey a day off, or I might. All right, Ulf Dolan has the puck. <clears throat> As with past games, I may move ahead or I may not move ahead. Depends on how everything is going. If, there's, if it's starting to become a blowout, then I will definitely move ahead. Uh, but with the playoff format, the way the computer is doing the playoffs, I don't necessarily have to do, you know, I don't necessarily have to move ahead and still get the entire game in um, in an hour. So we'll see. All right now, Chelios with the puck. And uh, you select a player for the shot. And, and uh, they gave me Bellows, and that's as good a, you know, a choice as any. And Bellows is inside, taking a shot. And it's going to be a save and go to their left defenseman, who will be the guy across from Chelios, who is Conroy. <clears throat> so Chicago with the puck again. Although we do have the first shot on goal, so. Mike Madano has the option to intimidate at 30%. I'll say yes, even though it probably really won't work, and it didn't. So Steve Thomas is inside shooting on Casey, and Casey makes the save. And Dave Gagne has the puck for us, for Minnesota, for the good guys. And uh, let's see. Uh, they got the puck. Manson has it now. So Chicago with the puck. And uh, we have uh, another player for the shot, and that's Bobby Smith. And yes, another good choice. So I will let it be Bobby Smith. But they actually got him off the puck, and they took it away from him. And so now Paul Gillis has it for Chicago. And uh, another player for the shot. Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to give it back to Bobby Smith, even though he was forced off the puck last time. Possible penalty? No. So I guess he was forced off the puck again, and now they've got it back. So, what is that, Trent Murray or Troy Murray? Barazan, though, takes the puck away and has an outside shot. Remember, remember in game one, he had an outside shot, and he scored on it, so... He is getting a lot of playing time, though. I don't know what happened there, but, you know, I'll go with it. 
We got Basil McRae with an outside shot on Belfour, and that is another save by Belfour. Big surprise. 15.41 left in the first, and uh, we are out shooting them 3-1, to one, but it's 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. And uh, Wilkinson has it for us. And again, Wilkinson doesn't appear on our roster on the side there, but he is on the ice. I don't know what the deal is with that, but he keeps showing up. And there's a penalty on us, probably. Or maybe it's just offsetting. Maybe. Yeah, it's offsetting four on four. In other words, those two guys went to the box and uh, they decided to whittle each side down four. So I'm, I'm still not sure why sometimes an offsetting penalty still leaves you with a five on five and sometimes it leaves you with a four on four. But got a breakaway for Steve Thomas. He took the puck away and, uh, or somebody did and gave it to Steve Thomas. So he had a shot and um, we were able to stop it. Casey was able to stop it. And now Prop has the puck for us. And hey, Tenorti inside, let's see. But that's not gonna work. And he loses it to the left defenseman. So Conroy has the puck. 12.39 left on the first period. The first period's moving right along. But then again, that's, you know, how it is. Um, Jim Johnson, I'm just going to shoot it with him because he can't pass and he really can't um, do much of anything. So that's a save, and the left defenseman comes up with the puck. Conroy has it for Chicago. We're out shooting 4-2, 12.05 left in the first. There's a five minute penalty? No, if, if an AA rating, so. Jim Johnson is going to the box. So now they got a five on four <clears throat> and we have to try to kill this off. And Larmer with the puck for Chicago. 11.48 left in the first. Uh, yeah, I'll try to intimidate. I mean, I got nothing to lose now. But we don't. And Jeremy Roenick is inside shooting on John Casey. And Casey makes a save. Casey has really been a lifesaver for us. I mean, he has been superb in this series. Uh, we got a player penetrated, so that's uh, Steve Larmer with a shot on Casey, and Casey again makes the save. And Barazan with the puck. So we're killing the penalty off, and of course, you know how they say your goalie is your best penalty killer, and so far he has been. But he isn't there, and there's a goal. So Chicago has a one nothing lead. And the penalty really hurt right there as we're down one nothing. And again, as I say, we're up two games to one in this series. So we'll either take a commanding lead and be up three to one, or they will win and they will tie the series. So uh, McGill has the puck. And Wilkinson has an outside shot option. And I think he's just going to shoot. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with the puck. 
And that's Steve Thomas. Madonna has it. So we've got the puck back. Let's see if we can do something with it. Nope, we lose it to McKegney on Chicago. Smale has an outside shot option. I'm going to pass. Let's see if we can do that. Inside shot for left wing. Yeah, we can. And that's Duchesne, Duchesne. But it's saved by Belfort. Who would have guessed? So Conroy with the puck for Chicago. A little over eight minutes left in the first period. And we have Billy or, uh, Bobby Smith, and Bobby Smith cannot put the biscuit in the basket. But Smale gets the rebound. Let's see if he can. Nope. Save left wing has a puck. So it's not like we're not getting our opportunities here. But so far, like they did in game two, Chicago is staying out of the penalty box in the first period. Now, whether they go back to being their usual goonish selves in the second and third, we'll see. Bear is in with an outside shot, but Belfort makes the save. <clears throat> and Troy Murray has the puck for Chicago. And lose puck, and uh, they're they're going to lose the puck. So we get we're going to have it. It looks like, and we do. Neil Broughton down only one nothing. So no need to panic just yet. And there's going to be a penalty to Jeremy Ronick. So We have a power play. We need to utilize that power play to our best advantage by scoring a goal. Brian Bellows with the puck. Inside shot for center. Brian Bellows. All right. Um, as an outside shot, I'm going to try to penetrate. He failed. All right. So they, um, Dirk Graham has the puck for Chicago now. And he skated successfully with it once. And he did not skate with it successfully that time. All right, we have Dave Gagne with a shot option. And yeah, I'll give it to Gagne. And he's going to pass. I'll pass with him. And he loses control. Come on. So, uh, Wilson has it for Chicago with 5.09 left in the first period. And Gagne has an outside shot. And it is a save by Bell. So Larmer of Chicago now has the puck with five minutes left. We're out shooting them 10-4, but we just can't put one in. And they did. All right, we got Madonna, I'll and I'll definitely give it to Madonna. 
and he's going to pass, and let's see if he can get it through. How do we, how will we keep losing control of the puck and not making successful passes when there's fewer men for them out on the ice? And now the penalty's over, so now we're back to even strength with four minutes left in the first period. All right, Dahlquist with an outside shot. We're going to, we're just going to take the shot. And it's going to be a lose to the center. And that is Crichton, who has the puck for Chicago. Adam Crichton. All right, we will intimidate, but it didn't work, and Steve Thomas is inside shooting on Casey. That's going to be a face-off. So we'll have a face-off to Casey's left. McGill back out to the point. McGill has an outside shot. But Casey makes the save. Casey coming to our rescue yet again. All right. Um, player for the shot, I'm going to say Bobby Smith. Paul Gillis has it for Chicago. You know, it's not like they're outplaying us or anything. It's just we're down one nothing because we had an ill-advised penalty. A minute 52 left in the first period. All right, Mike Craig has um, an outside shot. Um, yeah, we'll give it to him. And he's going to take it. And it is a save by Belfour. And no, we don't have, we don't, we almost had a chance to get it back, but we didn't have an offensive left wing three. So, who uh, was an offense three. So, Bellows has the puck now. Takes it away from Larmer. 39 seconds left in the period. And Goulet took the puck away. He has a breakaway. And he shot. And Casey made the save. And uh, Jim Johnson has it. But time is winding down. Outside shot for left wing, though. We're going to penetrate with Bellows. Might as well. Inside shot for center. And that's going to be Broughton inside. And Belfour, of course, makes the save. And that's the end of the first period. With the score, Chicago Blackhawks 1-1. Minnesota North Stars, nothing. And uh, being outshot, we're, well, we're out shooting them 12 to 5. But <clears throat> of those five shots, they happen to put one in because we were shorthanded at the time. Michelle Goulet has it for Chicago. I'm going to definitely take the intimidation chance with Jim Johnson, and there won't be a penalty, so he'll take the puck away. And so Jim Johnson does have the puck.
And Neil Broughton, player for the shot. Yeah, I'll take it with Neil Broughton. And so he has an outside shot. And Belfair makes the save. And so now Adam Crichton has it off the uh, rebound. And saved by uh, the save by uh, the main man. And we have Gagne in the penalty box. So we have another penalty that we have to kill off. Or we are in real trouble if they score on this one. Broughton has the puck. He loses it. And Manson will have an inside shot off a pass from Goulet. And, uh, of course, Casey makes the say. I mean, you know, I don't want to say of course, but really that's how, that's how money he has been so far in this series. I mean, we could be down three games of nothing right now. Goulet with an inside shot. And Casey covers it up, so there's going to be a face-off to Casey's left. I mean, we won the, we won both of the first two games by the score of 2-1. to one. So if not for Casey, we really seriously could be down 0-3 right now. Neil Broughton with the puck. And if you haven't seen any of the first three games, I highly recommend you go back and watch them because they were very good games. Uh, even the one that we lost, which was the last game. Michelle Goulet inside, and Casey makes the save, just like this one. And so far, it's a really good game. And you got Doug Schmale with the puck. McKegney takes it away and has an outside shot. And Casey makes the save. But they have a uh, rebound shot, and Manson takes it. Casey covers it up. There will be a face-off to Casey's left again. And now we're back to even strength, so we killed off the penalty at least. And they took the puck, and they have an inside shot with Presley. Wayne Presley taking the inside shot. And Casey makes the save. Now we have the puck again. Bobby Smith with it. And there's going to be a shot for somebody. Gaten Duchesne with an outside shot. I am going to try to penetrate, and he does not do it. Just barely missed getting inside. So, uh, Wilson has the puck. And now Manson has the puck. 13.52 left in the second period. Hawks up 1-0. Uh, Glenn has an outside shot option. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to pass. Even though that isn't the greatest of odds. And it was intercepted. I mean, we've got to try to work it inside. We're not going to we're we're not going to get that tying goal by just taking shots from the outside. And we will try to intimidate Wilkinson, great intimidator, and he does. He gets the puck back from them. So now Wilkinson has it. He might not be listed over here anywhere, but he's got the puck.
So they take the puck back, and now Trent Yanni of Chicago has the puck and control. And uh, Dahlquist has an outside shot option. I'm just going to take the shot. I mean, he was just too bad in every category. And yes, I do want to deflect it. So that might help with Madonna trying to deflect the puck from closer in. But it's still a save by Belfour. Steve Thomas with the puck. We're still out shooting them 14 to 11, but we are still losing to them 1-0. And Graham with an outside shot, Dirk Graham. And it's going to be a save in the right wing comes away with it. Doug Schmale has it. And McKegney. There was a great pass, and McKegney now inside on top of uh, Casey. But Casey saves it and covers it up. And there will be a face-off again to Casey's left. Chicago wins the face-off. And they're going to have an inside shot for Paul Gillis. Which is saved by Casey. And we will give it to Bobby Smith because he's across from an A penalty. Outside shot for left wing. Ten to Shane. I'm just going to take the shot. And again, saved by Belfour. Which, you know, you have to expect outside shots are going to be. So Trent Murray has the puck. Or Troy Murray. Sorry. Sorry. Lose the puck to the opponent, so maybe we have it, yes. Basil McRae has the puck for us. And now they've just about closed to almost even in shots. So they are starting to actually outplay us, in addition to having outscored us all so far. And Gilbert has an inside shot. Yeah, that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman gets it. 9-18, left in the second period. Glenn with the puck for Minnesota. And there's a penalty, and it, probably on them, yes. Dave Manson going to the box. Just like his brother Charles. So we, uh, we have a power play now for two minutes. Let's see if we can uh, use it. Bellows with the puck from Minnesota. Now the shots are even. So they have pulled even now. And Gagne with an outside shot. That's going to be a save, though. Right defenseman. Story of our life in this game. 16 shots and nothing to show for him. Chelios has the puck, and uh, we've got it now. And uh, Gagne, yeah, I'll give it to Gagne. And I'm going to pass with him. And 
And yeah, Bellows, definitely. And Bellows is right on top of Bell for you. You would think he could score with this. But no. Belfour makes the save. And Chelios has it. But he failed to skate with the puck. So we've got Mike Madano, who is going to take this shot. And he'll try to penetrate. And he did. Madano inside. And it's going to be a save defensive center. Although they don't have a center, so. Looks like we'll get another shot. And Bellows with it, and he's going to pass it. And inside shot for Gagne. And Gagne taking a shot, and it's a save, left wing. Don't you just hate playing against great goalie? So, let's see what happens here. There is 7.31 left in the second period. They failed to skate with the puck, so that leads me to believe we'll get it. And Brian Bellows with it. Yeah, that's as good a choice as any. And um, I'm going to penetrate with him. And he just misses getting inside. So now uh, Dirk Graham has it, but he fails to skate with it. I mean, they're giving us a ton of chances. We're just not capitalizing on them. Uh, Mike Madano, yeah. Let's go with Mike Madano. I'm going to try to penetrate again with him. And he failed to penetrate again. I shouldn't say again, because the last time I think he did, but he just didn't score. Jeremy Roenick, and he is failing to skate with the puck. So we again have another chance, or will be getting another chance. Dave Gagne, yeah, I'll give it to him. And what's going on? What's going on, Gagne? Um, I'm going to try to penetrate. Finally, we get inside. So Gagne will have an inside shot. And that's a goal. Finally, we tie the game. I mean, we only had enough chances. Finally, there's a chink in the armor for Belfour. And Gagne finds it. From Bellows. So we got a tie game here, folks. Don't go anywhere. Crichton and uh, Gagne taking the face off at center ice. And Wilkinson has the puck for Minnesota. We're up in shots, 20 to 15, tied on the scoreboard at 1, 632 left. And Wilkinson, I will try to intimidate, yes. And he did, and so Wilkinson has the puck. And they, we missed a breakaway. So now Trent Yanni has it. All right, so yes, I am going to try to intimidate at 85%. And Wilkinson gets the puck.
Lose puck outside shot for center. Paul Gillis, and it looks like they're content to take the outside shot where they have to. And uh, John Casey makes the save. And Berezan has the puck. Take the puck away, outside shot. And they got an inside shot for their left wing, it looks like, Gilbert. So Greg Gilbert inside. And that's going to be a save and go back to the defensive center. So our center will get it, and that's Perry Berezan. 3.31 left in the second and a tie game. And Mike Craig with the puck. And Craig is going to be inside, inside shot on top of Belfour. And is that a goal? Yes, it is. Minnesota with a 2-1 to one lead. So Craig from Tenorti and Basil McRae. We're getting a lot of unsung heroes too, which is great. So. Bellows with the puck. And there's a penalty. And it's probably on them. And it is on Larmer. So here we go. The Goon Patrol. They're out in full force. So with 257 left, you can pretty much chalk it up to that it's going to be tough for them to get anything really going because they're going to be shorthanded for most of the rest of the second period. And Prop has the puck. And Dolan, Dolan inside. And that's a save by Belfour. So the score is two to one now. It would be it wouldn't it be interesting if we end up winning the game by that score again for the third time in this series? That would be crazy. Dirk Graham with the puck for Chicago. And he skated successfully with it. And he skated successfully with it again. And he skated successfully with it again, and he's going to have a breakaway. Dirk Graham with a breakaway shot. That's going to be a save, and the right wing will get it. So Dolan has the puck for us. 58 seconds left. And Tenorti with an outside shot. That's going to be a save left wing. So. Uh, Belfour coming up big for him again. But, you know, so far he hasn't really. So I, mean, I don't want to say that. He... Oh, man. Madonna going to the box. Right at the end of the second period. So we're going to be down a man to start the third period, but up 2-1 to one on the scoreboard and up 23 shots to 18. So it's been a really good game so far. An excellent game. Just as really every game in this series has been. I mean, I said the beginning I would move ahead if, if it got to be a blowout, but really it, there hasn't been one yet. Casey with the save on the Larmer shot, so you'd think we'll have the puck, although no, Goulet, I guess, got the puck somehow, intercepted it, something. Nope, Tenorti had it. Maybe Tenorti took it away from Goulet, I don't know. But he loses the puck to the opposing center. 
So Jeremy Roenick has it. 1844 left in the game. Minnesota up two to one, up two games to one in the series. And Goulet with an out inside shot. Inside and Casey makes the save. Chicago fans got to be wondering whether, you know, we're the ones that actually have Belfour. But uh, I shouldn't say that because Belfour has played well. Broughton has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate. And he loses the puck. But they do have to be asking themselves, who is this Casey guy? Michelle Goulet. I am going to try to intimidate at 75%. You can bet that. And he is plastered. So Jim Johnson has it. It's a good thing we've got guys that can really intimidate the other team pretty well. And still manage to avoid penalties most of the time. Gagne has an outside shot option. He's going to try to penetrate. And he fails to penetrate, of course. So, Chelios has the puck. And Tenorti takes it away and has it now. And I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And again, it doesn't look like it worked. No. I got to start taking shots because we really... Uh, outside shot only for Smale. All right, so Smale has the outside shot. Already has a goal, I believe, this game for us. And Wilson with the puck for Chicago. And Smale with a breakaway. Took the puck away from him, has a breakaway. But it's a save, and it goes to any player on Chicago that they choose. And they choose Wilson again. Wilson! And Giles has an outside shot option. I'm just going to take it. I'm tired of trying to get inside and losing the puck or passing it and losing the puck. And that's going to be a lose to anybody. And they're going to, it's going to be, ends up, it'll be Larmer. So now Larmer has the puck for Chicago. Um, yes, I'm going to try to intimidate at 30%. Doesn't usually work, but. And it didn't. So Ronick has an inside shot. But it's a save and it goes to our left defenseman. who right now happens to be Tenorti after a line change, so. Select the player for the shot. Prop, yeah, I guess we'll go with prop. Rink wide for prop. And prop is gonna be inside too. That's a goalie rating plus, so. Nobody was on the power play at that moment, so there's going to be a face-off to Belfour's right. So let's see, prop with possession, Duchesne, and actually it turns out to be Duchesne, I guess we had a line change. They take the puck away though, and they have an outside shot. 
with Presley. And it was only an upside shot, and it's going to be a save, and the left defenseman scoops it up for us. Which happens to be Tenorti at this particular time. 11.39 left in the game. We're out shooting him 26-21, outscoring him 2-1. Smale has an outside shot. I'm just going to take the shot. And that's going to be a save, and uh, the right wing gets it for Chicago. And Larmer has it. Outside shot for the center. Inside shot for left wing. So I guess uh, they passed it to Goulet. And that's going to be a save by Casey. So face off to Casey's left. And we will see what happens. And it uh, looks like we are going to have possession back again. All right. So. Giles has the puck. Outside shot for any player. I guess they intercepted and they tried to get inside and couldn't with Ronick. So now Gagne has it. Now it's getting uh, now it's getting real. We have uh, less than half a period left and a one goal lead. And Adam Crichton of Chicago has the puck. And I will try to intimidate at 30%. Glenn can't handle him, so Manson's inside shooting. Save right wing. So that'll go to Madano. And I guess there was a line change, so now it's Smale. And there's a penalty. And it might be on McKegney. And it, it well, it, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see who they put in the box. McKegney, yeah, all right. All right, so we're going to look at who gets the face off. Hopefully it's us. So Jim Johnson with the puck. So let's see what we got here. They were able to skate with the puck and now they failed to skate with the puck. Brian Bellows. And with Bellows, I am going to try to pass. And that is going to be a successful skate for them with Ronick. And they they lose the puck because they failed to skate that time. So now we've got the puck back. If we could get another goal right here, I think it would put us in the serious driver's seat. And I'll give it to Madano, yes. And we'll try to penetrate with Madano again. And we do. And Madano inside. 
And that's going to be a goalie rating and a save. So one of their defensemen will come up with the puck. And that turns out to be Chelios. 7.31 left in the game. Potentially. And Larmer has the puck. And Bellows now has it for us. And Goulet with an outside shot. And there's a save by Casey. All right. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Possible breakaway. Madano picks it up, and Madano has an inside shot on Belfour. But it's going to be a save in the left wing. And Graham is hammered into the boards by Prop, so I'm assuming Prop will have the puck or Duchesne after the line change. So we're up two to one here, four ten left, and we are four minutes and ten seconds away from going up three games to one on Chicago. And that's going to be a save in the defensive center, and that will be three games in this series that Chicago has lost by the score of two to one. So Bobby Smith with the puck, and pretty soon you think they got to pull Bell for. And that's going to be a save. Any player, I'm going to give it to Smith because he's across from an A penalty. My tried and true rule. I mean, if they had to play the last part of this game with uh, at, at a man disadvantage, it would be devastating for him. All right, uh, player for the shot, Dolan. All right, they want it. They want it to be Dolan, so I'll give it to Dolan. Now Goulet has the puck, though they took it away from Dolan, I suppose. So Goulet has it. Two twenty-two left. And Larmer with an inside shot. And Casey makes the save. And Gagne has the puck. And we've got penalties all galore here, but I think they're going to end up on the uh, losing end of it. And they are. So we have a power play for the rest of the game. I would like to think that that means we're going to win. Unless they pull Bell for, and then they would, but, but even then, they're only even with us on the ice. So Dahlquist with the puck. And there's an outside shot, maybe? Yes. Dahlquist has an outside shot option. We'll just take it. That's going to be a lose to the defensive center. Minute 32 left. Uh, Mark, uh, Tenorti, I am going to pass with Tenorti. Inside shot for right wing. But, yeah, I guess he got forced off the puck, so... But they still have to try to score down a man with less than a minute left.
And uh, Troy Murray has the puck. 17 seconds left. Say what? I will try to intimidate, sure. Can't dislodge the puck. Larmer has an inside shot. That's going to be a save rebound. And that's it. We're up three games to one. Unbelievable. Up three games to one on the vaunted Blackhawks. So let's see who uh, got the stars of the game here. Uh, John Casey got the first star, of course. Mike Craig and uh, Dave Gagne. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off where the Minnesota North Stars have taken a commanding three games to one lead on the Blackhawks.